a retired police chief has denied telling officers gathered in a pub to get their stories straight in the wake of the Hillsborough disaster. 96 Liverpool fans died as a result of the 1989 Terrace Crush. CH Sup John Nesbitt told the inquest's claims by PC David Frost's were a pack of lies by a vindictive officer. Mr Nesbitt, who was not on duty during the match, told the court the police's handling of the disaster was chaotic with a complete lack of organization. Heads will roll. Mr Nesbitt was questioned about PC Frost's allegations that he took officers to a pub a few days after the April 15 tragedy at the FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest at Sheffield Wednesday's stadium. Jonathan Hoff QC, counsel for the coroner, said it was alleged Mr Nesbitt said to the group, Look, lads, we need this. It is a normal day in court. We have all got to get our stories straight or a lot of senior officers' heads will roll. Mr Nesbitt told the jury, it is nothing but a pack of lies by one mischievous, vindictive, deceitful officer. I was interviewed under caution where it was said that I had a heated discussion, according to Frost, with a number of officers in a public house, not in a police station and that after that conversation the whole of the PSU public support unit got up and walked out in disgust. That meeting never took place. Crossed swords. Pete Weatherby QC a barrister for 22 of the bereaved families, asked Mr Nesbitt if he was involved in trying to deflect blame for the disaster away from South Yorkshire Police's senior command or match commander C.H. Sup David Duck Enfield. Mr Nesbitt said, No. If I was going to speak to a group of police officers about that unfortunate day and the circumstances, I would have done it in the police station across the road, not in a public house where members of the public have got free access. Mr Nesbitt said he did not know why Mr Frost had made the allegation, but said they could have crossed swords in his former role as disciplinary superintendent. The court also heard claims from another officer, PC Adrian Daly, who said Mr Nesbitt tried to persuade him to remove criticism of senior officers in his statement during a meeting at a police station in Rotherham, South Yorkshire. But Mr Nesbitt said he left Rotherham in 1986 and the officer, who he said he had never met, must be mistaken. He was also asked about a police federation meeting in October 1989 at which Michael Shears by MP, parliamentary adviser to the police federation, was present. Minutes of the discussion recorded Mr Nesbitt as saying, the fans were trying to barter with the stewards to get in. They did not have tickets and were trying to buy their way in. Mr Nesbitt said he was not near the turnstiles and he was only passing on information. Mr Weatherby said, this is part of putting forward a narrative, isn't it, to this MP that he will then raise in Parliament. Mr Nesbitt said he did not recall the meeting. Earlier, Mr Nesbitt described to the court how he headed to the ground at 1500 hours. He told the inquests that by the time he got to the Leppings Lane Terrace fans were already dead and two bodies were jammed in a gate at the front. He described the scene as chaotic and that there was a complete lack of organization by the police. Mr Nesbitt told the jury police officers were getting in each other's way. He said he told his colleagues to form a chain to pass bodies from the terrace to the pitch and he organized messages to be given to fans on loudspeakers. The inquests being held in Warrington, continue.